hello friends today we are going to define another important class of integral domains we know that uh, in the ring of integers uh, the division algorithm holds but uh, there are many more integral domains in which the division algorithm holds and uh, they are called Euclidean domains. So let us define Euclidean domain. So here we have to take an integral domain. So an integral domain an integral domain r plus dot is called is called a uh, Euclidean domain if if there exists a function Suppose n from r minus the identity additive identity zero to the set of all natural number along with zero, satisfying the conditions n of a is less than or equal to n of a b for all a b in r minus singleton 0 and the number 2 the division algorithm for any a b in r with b not equal to 0 as in the case of division algorithm we take there exists q r in r such that here q is called quotient r is remainder quotient and this one remainder such that a is equal to b q plus r b times q plus r where either r is 0 or n of r is less than n of b So, we we'll take an example. So, if we consider any field, okay, then we have to define a suitable function n such that that function will satisfy the two conditions for Euclidean domain. So, example 1. Take any field. So, let F be a field. Okay. And we define the required function n by. So, n will be from F minus singleton 0 to a naught such that n of a is 1 1 the unity in the field f for all a in f minus singleton 0 now we have to 
satisfy the two conditions so number one let a b belongs to f minus singleton zero with if we take this one then we must have a b not equal to zero because a field is an integral domain so it has no zero divisors and we have taken a and b both different from zero so here we have a b is not equal to zero then n of a by the definition for any element a in this n of a will be one and here a b is also different from zero so a b is in this set so its image will be also one so this satisfies this relation n of a is less or equal to n of a b number two for division algorithm so take any element c from the field f so here f here c uh, may be zero or different from zero so there is no restriction on c c is arbitrarily taken from f but here uh, a and b both are non zero so you can take a or b any one of them so uh, now we want to uh, divide c by a so we have to take c as equal to so we have to this a plus this one will be r so this will be the quotient q and remainder r will be there so we have to fill in this blank so so we want c on the right hand side so here a so a is non zero and a is in field so a inverse exists in f so we put a inverse over here so if we multiply this one you will get to 1 but yes c is given so we must take c over here and this one as 0 so c can be written as this one so this is the quotient we need and this is the remainder we need over here so we see that in, in this field f if we define n by this one so divisional algorithm will be obtained by this and the condition one will be obtained by this so the conclusion is that any field with the function n defined by this becomes a euclidean domain here the function n is called Euclidean norm function Euclidean norm function or Euclidean valuation Euclidean valuation So in the next class we will learn about more examples so that's all for today thank you